This video is designed to help you learn how to submit an assignment in eLearning. These instructions do not apply if you're using a turnitin.com assignment, which your professor might use, but for any standard assignment, these instructions will work. You can see here that I'm on uh, an assignment page. This is for my criminal courts class where they have a paper due called the plea paper. Um, and in this case, you can see that I have the instructions for the assignment and um, a, an option to submit plea paper here. Um, it, sometimes you'll just have one option, um, so that's where you'll, you'll submit the paper, but here because there are two different things with the same icon, um, I just wanted to make clear that this is where the assignment goes. Um, you can also see that I have um, a request that you submit in certain file formats, so doc.docx.rtf.pages or .odt. And I ask that you don't submit as a text submission, as a PDF file, a text file, or a Google Docs. Um, and I'll go into some more detail later on Google Docs, but for now, just to say that, um, you know, I don't want you submitting, um, or I need you to submit in a certain format because of the way that I grade. So I appreciate you following these instructions. All right, so we're going to click here to submit plea paper. And you'll see um, when the paper is due and the possible points, and again, the same instructions that we saw before. Um, if you scroll down just a little bit, so this is what I'm talking about when I say um, a text submission or um, a text file. Uh, that option is here. Please do not choose this option. Um, instead, browse my computer so that you can look for a file. And here I'm just going to use my sample plea paper um, and choose. Uh, you have some options here. You can write me a note if you want. You don't need to. Uh, if you wanted to change the name of your file, whatever, but you don't really need to worry about any of these options. Just click submit. And once you see this page, you'll be able to see that the file has been um, correctly submitted. You'll also see I just got an email notice telling me that this has been submitted correctly. If for any reason you don't have the correct file, you can click, click the option to start new and you can start all over. Uh, you can see here that I actually selected a file that has some comments in it, so yours won't have um, this extra stuff. Um, you'll also see an option for safe assign and a report. Uh, this assignment hasn't gone through the report process, so I'll come back and talk about that later um, because it can be a useful tool for you. So again, if you figured out that you submitted the wrong file, you can just click Start, click start New, um, and it takes you right back to this page. And I have the settings so that you can submit you know, as many times as you need to. In this case, we don't really need to, so we'll go back. Back here and everything's been submitted. You have an email confirmation that it's been submitted, so if for any reason uh, you couldn't find uh, your assignment or you were worried it didn't submit properly or your professor tells me tells you there's a problem, um, you can always forward that um, email confirming that it was submitted correctly. If you don't get that email, then it wasn't submitted correctly and you need to go back and do this again. All right, that's it for now. I'll come back later and talk about Google Docs.